If you know there's certain content that you're going to be using more than once in a project, you might consider using something called a user-defined variable. Imagine if, for example, you wanted to add copyright information to the bottom of every topic. You could create that once and then copy and paste it throughout your topics. If you need to make a change to that content, however, you'd have to make changes everywhere you pasted it. So a better option is to use that user-defined variable we're going to talk about right now as we continue working with our Using LDC Tags project. Let's just expand our Getting Started TOC book and then double-click Welcome. We'll start there, right at the very first topic. And as we scroll down towards the bottom, let's create a little extra space by clicking at the end of howtouselynda.com and hit enter a couple of times. This would be a great place to add that copyright information. We could start typing, but instead, let's use a user-defined variable. So to do that, we need to access the pod, which appears in a tab down across the bottom, user-defined variables. Give it a click. If you don't see it there, you're probably not using the default view, and you'll have to go to the View menu and down to Pods where you'll find this option. By default, there aren't any. So we have to create our own user-defined variables by clicking this little button here. It looks like a couple of cogs for creating a new one. And when we click it, you'll see there are two fields, one where we give it a name, the other where we actually enter the content. So the variable name, let's just call it copyright. And in the variable value field, we'll enter some text. How about copyright 1995 to 2011, lynda.com. There it is, all rights reserved. And maybe this should be 2010, not 2011, so we'll change that. Click OK, and we have our first variable. So it's sitting there in our pod. We see a preview of what it's going to look like over here on the right-hand side. And now there's a couple of different ways to get it into our content. First of all, we can click where we want it. There we go, right at the bottom of our topic for welcome. And then just click and drag from the pod itself into our topic. And you can see the little red cursor is going to show us exactly where we're about to place it. So right about there, leaving a one blank line, let go, and it's entered. Now this is a variable, so if we tried to come in here and maybe change that, notice when we click anywhere inside that content, the entire piece is highlighted or selected. So if we want to make changes, we actually make changes to the variable itself, and we'll see those changes wherever we've added it to our project. So let's do that. Let's double-click Memberships. We'll do the same thing. We'll scroll down to the end after our graphic and hit enter a couple of times just to create some space. Another way to insert if you're not viewing the user defined variables pod is to go to the insert menu. You'll see it there towards the bottom user defined variable. It opens up a different window where you'll see any and all, in this case just our one copyright variable. With it selected we click insert and in the background we just inserted it. And this stays open so we can go to other topics if we wanted to or close it up. We'll add one more. Let's go to Exercise Files, same thing, scroll to the bottom, click, enter a couple of times, and we'll just drag it in this time and let go. Now we realize it really should be copyright 1995 to 2011. Well, all we have to do now is just double click our copyright variable here in the pod itself to open up the user to find variable properties. There's the name, we'll keep it the same, and there's the content. And we'll make the change here from 2010 to 2011, take out the zero, add the one, and when we click OK, you can see what's happened. It's changed right here at the bottom in our topic, and as we go to the welcome topic, it's fixed there as well. Same thing under memberships. So we entered it once, made the change once, and we see those changes in multiple topics. That's because we're using a variable. Now when we save up all our changes, and we go down to our variable in the pod and double click, you'll actually see all of the topics where that variable is used. So you see them all listed here. We'll click cancel to close that up. And you can decide now when and where you might want to use a user-defined variable.